Hey guys, uh, good to see you, <laughs> even though you can't, I can't see you, but you can see me. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video, I've been meaning to make a, um, a video about this power drawbar version 2 that I recently got going. Uh, yeah, so let's get stuck into that. Eh? It doesn't have any of the parts from my previous power drawbar. Um, I had heaps of problems with my air cylinder that I made, uh, just after heaps of use it just started seizing up. So I uh, saw some Tormac Belleville washers and, um, and an air cylinder that Tormac uses on their mill from a Chinese supplier for around about 350 US dollars. So that's including the air solenoid, so it's not too bad. Um, and then I've just paid for a bit of aluminium and um, machined that up as well for all the mounting brackets and so on. Um, I machined that using HSM works and uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. Like it's working flawlessly. This is probably one of the, uh, the best upgrades that you could do for your little milling machine if you're looking for a project or something to improve on. Um, you'll really be happy with it and it saves so much time uh, machining. So yeah, let's, um, I'll give you a bit of a close up of all the parts and stuff like that and then we'll push a button a few times and change some tools that might be exciting to you or it might not, but um, that's what it does. So yeah, let's check it out. <coughs> so here we have the air cylinder uh, all plumbed in. And then I've just got like a standoff which I machined. Uh, it bolts to the underside of the cylinder. And then that bolts onto another plate uh, which the top hat presses on or is pressed against when uh, the air cylinder is actuated. And then that is then bolted to uh, the side brackets. And those side brackets are um, bolted to the head obviously. But you can also see I've got uh, some springs underneath those bolts so that the um, assembly can move up and, and actually squeeze the, um, the, the washers and compress them. I've also incorporated the motor mounting plate to the side bracket and um, that slides forwards and backwards to uh, release the tension on the belt if I want to change over on the pulleys. Yeah, so it's, it's super quick to change tools. Um, Pretty much the same as my other power draw, draw bar setup when it worked well. But within a couple of seconds you can have your tool changed and, um, and drastically reduce your machining time and, um, and frustration. <laughs> that easy. Highly recommended. Alright, thanks for watching guys and um, if, if you'd like the, the CAD files for the mounting for the air cylinder just shoot me a message and I'll, I'll send you through it. A Dropbox links link or something, and you can download it and tinker around with it. Just um, just be aware that some meals are a little bit different here and there from the, the Chinese supplier. So yeah, all right. I'll see you in the next video.